Robert was a principal teammate and was relied upon by Calvin Burns, Mark Savona, and Emily Livingston to make things happen. The phone rang in the DIA China desk area, and Emily walked over to Mark's phone to answer it. "'Hello, this is Emily,' she said with her British accent. It sounded like, "'Hello, this is Emily.' "'Emily, morning. This is uh, Jason from Calvin Burns' office. Mr. Burns would like to talk with you and the team at 11.30 this morning. Your conference rooms. He has Savona coming back from leave, and Captain Stevens is on his way in from out west.' "'Geez, for what?' Mark is down on a cruise on a, on a Royal Caribbean ship water slide near some tropical island, and Ford is flying training missions at Ellsworth. Yeah, we know. Something has come in, and it's hot. Needs to talk to the team this morning. Sigh. All right, Jason. Robert and I will be up there, Emily said, then hung up the phone. Pollux, what in the bloody hell does he have that's apparently so hot? Robert was sitting at his cubicle and typing away on his computer and could hear Emily talking to Jason. He couldn't help but overhear and decided to engage to see what was going on. "'What is it, Emily?' "'You'll never believe this, bugger. As she paused, she stared off into space, thinking about Ford coming in, checking on her fingernails. Emily was both excited and surprised. She was not sure what Calvin Burns had in store for them, but she would be able to see Ford again. Ford, Emily thought to herself. Hello, Emily, are you there? What was the call about? Robert asked. That was Jason ringing. Mr. Burns wants to meet with all of us later this morning. 11.30. Two personnel movements are afoot. Mark was called back from the Caribbean, and Ford is inbound here to D.C. Yeah? Mark and Ford? "'Mark must be furious. Whoo we Robert said, laughing. "'You're not kidding. Stay away from him when he gets here.' Robert was instantaneously in thought and was rolling through his options. "'What did Mr. Burns want with Ford? I can understand Mark, but both of them?' It was very rare to be recalled back from leave, especially from a cruise ship vacation. Robert interpreted that it must be something big, so big that you needed the entire China aviation team together— including the Air Force pilot, the only one who has ever flown a secret Chinese stealth bomber. "'Ford is coming,' she said happily, clapping her hands like a small girl in the schoolyard. Robert, ever stoic and expressionless, looked at Emily. "'Emily, why? What would Ford get called here for? That's pretty atypical, you know, pretty odd,' Robert offered." If he was getting another achievement award, something administrative, it would be handled by the Air Force. He's a pilot, out doing pilot stuff. You know, flying? Robert nodded a bit. I hate to say this, but there is only one reason he's coming back, and there is only one reason that Mark would get recalled off a cruise ship. Emily did not know how to take it at first and ran through a few items in her head. Nothing immediately came to mind. What reason? "'What reason, Robert?' Emily asked. "'I don't understand.' She thought about it, and it still wasn't clicking. She had no clue why they would be recalled. She turned her head sideways and thought. "'Emily, come on,' Robert said in his low but deep voice. "'You know.' They both stood staring at each other. The other office people moving and talking in the background were the only sounds around— no one else was in their meeting spaces. A pin could drop, and it could have been heard like a boulder down a hill. They looked into each other's eyes like a contest as the seconds went by. Emily pulled her head back and raised her eyebrows toward the ceiling. "'Oh, my God!' she blurted out. The idea just hit her. "'No kidding! Bloody hell!' "'Yes!' Robert replied, sitting down in his chair and sliding back to his cubicle with some excitement. Emily followed right behind him, leaning over his shoulder to stare at the computer screen. Shite! No, why? Check the intel updates and see what we have. Wow! Emily had figured it out. China! China is flying again! I just know it. Wu was right. Could be dodgy intel, but... That plonker, General Chen, has more aircraft, announced Emily with some emotion. 